of different member states. On the other hand, the cooperation could be even further intensified by developing and using new ways of working together and exchanging information while relying on new technological applications and tools. Effective cross-border cooperation between member states supported by the relevant EU agencies is a viable way to address both existing and new threats in an ever-evolving environment. EU Justice and Home Affairs agencies play a significant role in supporting the member states in this common task. However, the agencies operate increasingly in a situation of limited resources and the key question is how to balance operational needs with existing resources. We need to discuss the areas in which agencies can create added value most effectively, for example areas in which member states might need to gain access to resources or techno technical equipment through the pooling of resources, where data analysis capacities could be enhanced and where stronger operational support could be provided. We could also consider transparent criteria for deciding on the areas where support is most needed, taking into account technological advances and the specific requirements of the member states. Before we uh, begin our first session, I would like to remind you that the intervention should not exceed the customary three minutes. With that in mind, I look forward to a fruitful discussion. I would like to give the floor first to the Commission and then to delegations. Please, Commissioner Avrampoulos. Thank you, Maria. Good morning, everybody. <coughs> well, uh, so let me start by reiterating our thanks for your hospitality and the excellent way you've organized this council. <coughs> I would like also to welcome in our family the new chairman of Libe Committee, who is our strongest ally in the Parliament, Juan Fernando, with his experience, his commitment and his knowledge will help us in delivering on all these issues, not only security but also migration. Dear colleagues, the past five years, owing mostly to the numerous terrorist attacks, have seen a massive expansion of our common security initiative. I still remember the very first days when we were pushed by the occurrences, by the events, these dramatic events, in order to 